so yeah, we're going to be playing the Sega Ages uh, Virtual Racing, for starters here. Uh, made by M2. Uh, in terms of old video games, they are the people in emulation. Uh, they will be actually working on that uh, Sega Genesis flashback. So I haven't played the arcade version of this game. So you're going to see this game, folks, and you'll be like, man, video games have come a long way, huh? There was a once upon a time, and I say this like I'm 40 years old or whatever, where you can judge how advanced a video game was by how round the wheels were. Uh, if I remember correctly, the wheels in virtual racing are very not round. Um, so yeah, this is an arcade port. Uh, before that, virtual racing was sort of not available to emulate in the best way. Uh, like it was on the 32X, and I think there's Genesis version? Maybe a Sega Saturn version. Uh, I'm not sure about that. But yeah, even though this game is going to look very primitive, uh, look at this manual here. Uh, it is fascinating because there really was never any. Uh, this is two. That's nothing. There was never really any way to emulate this game properly. Uh, so we're seeing. So what we're seeing here is may, as primitive as it may look. Oh man, look at that. Oh, those wheels are pretty round, actually. I take that back. I'm sorry. Uh, AM2, I believe, made this game. I want to say AM2 made this game. Who made a uh, Virtua Fighter, and would later go on to make uh, Yu Suzuki, would later go on to make Shenmue, uh, one of the most important video game franchises of all time, as we all know. It is the uh, you know the premier open world. Oh man, VR, that that's very good. I'm man, that's good stuff. Uh, I I want more VR things. Just start with like VR flashing in your face, just so you know. So, uh, ooh, that's not, we're gonna get started here. I don't know how I insert a coin. I guess X is insert coin. It is, uh, so, yeah, man, that's weird. Okay, I think we're good now. Oh boy. Things are happening, let's go. Oh my god, I can see, see I messed up there. I wanted to use the trigger to uh, drive there. Um. A fun thing, so we here at IP, especially on this Twitch channel, recently played uh, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. And that also had, that committed to the bit of having the uh, A button or X button, if you will, as the driving thing, which was, uh, which was a great commitment to the bit. As a goof, that's fun, but I don't know about that as a practical decision. Man, let me tell you what. This control's pretty damn good. <laughs> wow, yeah, this feels good. So, yeah, so, so this is running at at least 60 frames per second, I think. Uh, I'm no frame rate wizard. But the thing with this game was, like, on consoles, like, they had to do some crazy shit to, like, make it run. Like, you think of the early 90s, you think of Star Fox, right? And uh, that had the Super FX chip. Uh, and that was able to make polygonal games on a Super Nintendo. The Sega Genesis was not going to run this <laughs> without some extra juice. So I may be incorrect, but I'm pretty sure Virtual Racing, when it came out on the Genesis, it came out on a special cart. Um, uh, someone's in the chat. Oh, hey, I, I wonder who's not. I assume that's Scott as a rational passion. That isn't me. I'll tell you that much right now. Um,. But yeah, yeah, so it came with a special chip, which was Sega's, you know, answer to the Super FX and Super FX2, which said Nintendo really didn't market the Super FX2 much. It was just a thing that existed, but they never talked to it, told anyone as a thing, because it was so late in the Super Nintendo's life cycle. Like, why would you, why would you do that? Um, but yeah, so it's weird. Um, when, before when I reached out for this Sega to this game, I never played this game before, right now. Um, I was worried because, you know, it's, I, I enjoy old video games a whole lot, but I suck at arcade racers because they are so, they're dependent on the time limit and you reaching, you know, your checkpoint in a certain time, otherwise you're done. Uh, <laughs> and if I was going to Twitch stream this, it would look, maybe not, it would be the most entertaining content. 
uh, <laughs> for me to just keep fucking up. But this is pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. I do better at this than I am at OutRun. Man, this feels very good. I am shocked how good this feels. Um, yeah, and it, look, the weird thing is that it looks like the, the sky is just a JPEG. Uh, so that's probably the worst looking thing here. Everything else looks really sharp and... Like, it's so sharp and so emulated so well that it just kind of looks like a modern indie game you would find on Itch or something. Uh, it's got a style to it. Um, who's Whoever's in the chat right now has Irrational Passions, identify yourself. I'm assuming it's Mike, but I don't fucking know. See, and here you go. That's what I said was going to happen. And that's what happened. Uh, so we're going to mess around with some more tracks here. Talk about some virtual racing. Um, let's go to the main menu. Ooh, we got to hold it. So there are some options there. What's up with helper on deluxe type model one? Oh, that's right. The, the model one, I assume that's just a fun little bit for the, um, because this was running on model one Sega arcade hardware, um, which model two would be Daytona USA, uh, Virtual Fighter two, I want to say. Um, yeah. Mike, if you're in the chat, can you tell me, uh, uh, can, are you hearing any, like, I don't know, some feedback? Because I have the volume on my TV on, because I can't hook up a headset to it. It's a whole thing. Does it sound good? You let me know there, Mike. Uh, ba -da -ba -bum, staff credit. All right, let's go back to sing. I'm going to have this helper on. I don't know if it was on before. You enable the helper feature, which will no longer apply to the rate. Fucking, okay. <laughs> Just clip you. We the feature when able to okay sure there you go first name right there you got you you Suzuki oh my god he want to press start it's why we're gonna do Bay Bridge okay Mike is saying it sounds good but he's gonna check with headphones on. Um, only playing the most exciting, uh, most exciting Switch games. You know, this this is probably not a lie. This isn't the most I played my Switch. This is definitely the most I played my Switch. Docked. Uh, I'm playing some Tales of Asperia, but that's about it. I'll tell you what, folks. I am shocked how well this run turns out. Frame rate, good frame rate holds the fuck up. Uh, this is so 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 smooth. Really, really good. So I saw on Twitter uh, one Jeremy Parrish of Retro Not fame, and one of fame, I suppose, in US Gamer at one point. Uh, he made the fl he and some uh, other folks made the flip grip, which was that little accessory uh, that you could use for your Switch to play video games in Tate mode. Which is when you play a game sort of uh, vertically, like if you're thinking of um, like a uh, shmup, like an Ikaruga, or uh, I guess a Galaga. Uh, <laughs> I guess for the mole for the for the kids out there, it'd be vertical. It'd be the equivalent of playing a, a game in with vertical video or in a mobile game, uh, because you know arcade some arcade arcade monitors were in that vertical. Some arcade monitors had that vertical slant to them specifically for shmups uh and so the interesting thing about this i saw on twitter is that the flip grip is made to play those games in that format in that video format uh and the way this game takes advantage of that is that if i'm correct remembering correctly this game would be hooked up in arcades to multiple machines you could play together sort of like a lan but with you know all arcades so for multiplayer in this game you could hook up a switch to a flip grip and it would display all three screens for each three players on one switch. But since it's vertical, it, can, it can just divvies up the screen, you know, three ways. Um, I think that's fucking cool as hell. So shout out to M2 for just being so obsessive with their emulation. That, that's crazy. I wish I could hear the music here better, folks. I mean, you know, I, I don't want to give you guys feedback. 
because uh, Sega makes very good music. And Daytona USA, which this would be the predecessor to. Uh, a very good video game with very good music. Daytona USA. This track is definitely more challenging. It's like San Francisco, but... Uh, actually, I don't know much about San Francisco. At least the bridge. When I went to San Francisco, I did see the bridge. Uh, I'm not gonna make it. Well, there's that, I suppose. Uh, who's in the chat? I'm still got just my chat. Um, old video games on your Switch. So, I, I just recently got a Switch. I haven't played... I know this, there's a few Sega Ages games. There's, like, Outrun and, like, Sonic the Hedgehog. It's, like... I don't care how good you're emulating Sonic the Hedgehog at this point. Like, I played it in a lot of ways. Oh, whoa. Again, that fucking start is fucking me up. We're going to try out Acropolis, uh, which I assume is the summer version of White Acropolis from Sonic 06. Um, check out these ladies. Yeah, I assume this is what this is. So that's cool. That's cool that Sega, you know... Sonic Team put in a neat little Easter egg in Sonic 06 and named it after the track from Virtual Racing. That's cool. Check out that water. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. There's like a... Whoa. Is this supposed to be like... Um, oh, man. I'm not even going to guess. But it, I, I can recognize... I can kind of recognize what part of the world this is supposed to look like but I'm not going to try and guess. I'm just going to say it looks like that first area in Sonic Unleashed. That's what I'm going to say it looks like. Again, a great a lot of good Sega lore here coming up. I am doing terribly. And I can't... Okay, there you go. See, the thing about new video games uh, and the fact that video games are always coming out is you gotta wait for them. But there's a lot of old video games you can just kind of play. No one talks about this. You can just play older video games. It's crazy. The Switch! Uh, a great console to play old video games. At least, I mean, I say that, but, you know, I haven't messed around a lot with my Switch. Or the Vita 2, as I like to call it. And my girlfriend likes to call it that as well. Da, 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 da. Old games driving down the streetway. Oh man, I don't know if that's. I think that's supposed to be grass. I can't tell. It looks different than the other green, so I'm not sure. There is a long time where I had very little respect for the arcade racer in this in the in the literal term of an arcade racer because I was so bad like the arcade racer that the whole point is every time you hit the checkpoint you get more time extended onto your thing and the goal is to finish the race within the time limit you're given uh, because I was so bad at them uh, but there's just man they made fucking some good ass video racing games in the arcade times like when I was a little kid I didn't give a shit about Daytona USA and now I love that game uh, which is a shame because I don't know if Usually your Dave and Busters would have like five Daytona USA. I'm doing terribly. I'm sorry, folks. Uh, they would have like five, you know, Daytona USA cabinets uh, strung up together. But I don't know if they have those though, or if they have how much it costs to maintenance that, if they even care. Oh, um, let's see, chat. We just uh, we just mic in there, so that's cool. Chat at the mic. All right, let's see. What else we got in Virtua Racing? Oh, there's online play. Damn. All right. Let's save a replay. Nice. What do we got? We got... Oh, we could do difficulty. Oh, this is race mode. Not oh, there's difficulty. Easy. Car color. Ooh, we can change the car color. Maybe. Because that, that's not... It won't let us choose that. Maybe that's a multiplayer thing. Ooh, we got sound test. That's always good. We got sound test. VR button. 
start. Maybe that's a arcade thing that I don't know. Like you gotta press the VR button to start virtual racing. Um, let's get an. Let's see if we can find an online match. Uh, join a room. Let's see if anyone's playing virtual. Ra Karak is playing virtual racing. What? Oh, uh, okay. Sure. I we're gonna do that, sure. I have no idea what that's about, folks. If you have any idea, let me know, but I have no clue what that's all about. All right, well, uh, I think we've seen enough of virtual racing here. Uh, I'm gonna see if there's any more tracks. I think it was just three, but I think then that might be it. Yes, all we got is uh, Beginner, we got Big Forest, we got Bay Bridge, and we got Acropolis. We're going to play one more Big Forest, then we're going to move on to Monster Boy, I think. Um, I don't know how long we've been playing for, folks. I've lost track of time. I'm sure the tunes for this game are fantastic, but again, I can't hear them well. Uh, Outrun. Great video game music, if I do say so myself. Fantasy Zone, which would be the whatever Sega arcade machine model before this, uh, probably way before that, actually. Um, yeah, that must have been way, way, way before that. Uh, Fantasy Zone, great, uh, great, 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 great music. Space here, great music. Just a bunch of great Sega. Sega's great. I like Sega a lot, and it's not, I mean, I like Sonic, but something about me in, like, 2015, 2016. Something about Sega just really, really grabs me. And it's not the Genesis. I don't even like the Genesis that much. I'm, I'm really not. It's more of their arcade and the stuff they do in the Saturn and the Dreamcast. Such a bunch of weird stuff. Weird stuff. I'm gonna play some Alien Front Mission online. Speaking of arcade racers and old video games, and maybe we'll play that here sometime. If I ever do another Twitch stream, I don't know, guys. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Um, Ridge Racer 7. I'm thinking about Ridge Racer 7 a lot. So if you don't know me, George Cruz, um, I think about old games a lot and just randomly. Um, I've been really fixated on Ridge Racer 7 because I've been thinking about the PS3 launch. You know, we're at a new console's coming up. Been thinking a lot about launch lineups. Uh, Ridge Racer 7, a launch title for the PlayStation 3. At the time, I think a lot of folks were disappointed by Ridge Racer 7 because it was like Ridge Racer 6. But that game ran at 1080p at 60 frames per second on launch on a PlayStation 3. How many PS3 games could say the same that it ran at 60 frames per second at 1080p? It's pretty impressive, uh, folks. I think a lot of... There was a time in the beginning of uh, last generation where we were like, oh yeah, 1080p, we're hitting it. That's not happening, Chief. Da, da, da. This does not feel like 328 kilometers per hour. I guess I don't know, actually, so. Gonna... Whoa! Whoa! Look at that! You can see, like, the whole thing as it draws in. That's cool. Let's go, Let's go back. That's cool. This just looks like a Micro Machines game. Now what's cool is that... Oh, whoa! Ho, ho, this is fascinating. I just want to mess around with this. I don't even care about the race anymore. So it's it's clear that, like, the... It's like a tilting, like, little 3D model that's on top of, like, a giant sky and grass JPEG. That's cool. Old video games, folks. So that's Virtual Racing. Uh, made by, Developed by... AM2, I believe. Uh, 1992. 1992! Look at that! That's 1992 right there, guys. That's fucking wild. That's pretty good. That's very good. I don't know if you could... I doubt you could get that on a PC in 92. So that's cool. Oh my god, this... I swear. I'm not using this pro controller. That's what it is. Alright, folks. So we're gonna play... We're gonna play something. We're gonna play some... Uh, Wonder Boy... 
in Monster Land now. <sighs> M2. So get ages opening. Ooh, check out that art. Check out that uh, Master System art. I believe this is a Master System game. Arcade mode. This game did not. Sega System 2. I don't know if this came out on arcades. Challenge mode. Arcade mode. To add credits. Oh, this was an arcade game. What the fuck? Okay, weird. Uh, I do not know <laughs> as much about Monster Boy uh, as I do about virtual racing. So I'm not going to be much of a fountain of knowledge on this one, guys. Whetstone. Wow, yeah, this was a... That's weird. Welcome to Monster Land. There's no space on this. What the hell? This is really throwing me off because I swear this, I thought this game was a... Uh... Hey, brave man. Listen carefully. The country's fate depends on you. Dispends on you. Your mission is to destroy the vicious dragon and restore peace. Take the sword and medicine. Good luck. Okay. Is this like an Athena thing where like I gotta I gotta get my armor? Okay. Cocktail or beer? Ooh man, this is an arcade game? This isn't Somebody call the cops. This isn't this isn't cool. What are we doing here, guys? I'm gonna take that. Jump the last tree on the right hand side. What? This is some uh Simon's Quest <laughs> shit. Alright, here we go. What's this going on? Oh. This is the Was Athena just a ripoff of this? Shit! <laughs> okay! Well, hell! Take that, death. So. Got him! Death is a chump. <sighs> I got some coins. If he sneaks, get the fuck out of here. Five hundred bonus points. We got Mushroom Man. Let me tell you what, this game is already better than a lot of the Alex Kidd video games. That's what I have to say. Guys, I am. I. I had no idea this is what this game was. I am. Sh cloth boots, leather boots. How much money do I have to give? I can't buy Jack. Weird. Back to this guy. I'm good. 
This is very Simon's Quest. Welcome! May I help you? This bird is selling shields. I don't want any. Arrow. I still don't have any armor. Welcome! May I help you? It's in bombs, I think. Ah, uh, no, you know. So can I farm? Can I farm these guys? And... No, they stopped giving me gold. Alright, well... Folks... Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, I'm not dead. Oh, cool! How about that? Ah, oh, shit. Get out of here. Four gold get. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Die. Looks like a doom man. Oh, my God, no. Oh, pinky. Let me check the chat real quick. How's everyone doing? Good. All right. No one's here. That's fine. Use the revival medicine. Yeah, this guy's motherfucker. Well, the thing I've been told by Meg people who enjoy Mega Man is that uh, you know you don't have to kill everyone, so let's just try to. You don't have to kill everyone. You just gotta keep going straight. Someone be beyond the wall, man. This is a oh don't know oh no. Oh no. Man, this is. Oh my god. Shh. Well, you know. Oh, hey. Continue or not. Use cursor to select. Add credits and select again. How do I add credits? Why? Haha, -ha, I got it. Okay, well then this makes it a lot easier. <laughs> I gotta say this is a pretty pretty involved arcade game. Oh my god. What's the secret to killing these guys? Ooh. Oh there's that one. Hit. Man guys, this is my first Twitch stream and I gotta say now I know why uh, all the pro gamers have those comfy gaming chairs, because my back is killing me. Oh boy. Someone be beyond the wall. Oh boy. Adding more credits. Here we go again. So, man, Wonder Boy slash Monster Boy, one has a very confusing uh, lineage. Because uh, they were all made by a whetstone, I believe, at one point. I'm not quite sure I'm right about that. Um, so, you know, you have, like, uh, that Wonder Boy remake, and you have Monster Boy, which was made, which also came out, but did not get as much buzz as that Wonder Boy in the Dragon's Trap. Uh, that I think that Monster Boy game looked a lot better, personally. I love the way that game looks. There's a demo on it on the Switch eShop. Haha, I gotcha. So that was a very confusing animation game. What's in this? Vampire Lord! My favorite Castlevania game. Start from the beginning of the level, or do I have to? Uh, I would love to continue Lion Man. God damn it. All right, well, you know. Oh, chip. Okay. We're gonna save here, and I'm gonna. 
I'm gonna explore what's in this in this menu. What else we got here? Money hungry mode. The Sphinx is on the rampage. Defeat her as quickly as you can. Use as much medicine as you like. All right, we're gonna fight the Sphinx. Ooh, oh man, exciting. Whoa, look at how, I'm like fucking jacked, brother. Look at this, holy moly, look at this jump. Oh my gosh. This is some, oh my gosh. Oh, it's a Reaper, yeah, see, now he's just like a normal enemy. Oh my gosh, this is so fast, he's so... Man, this would be unplayable with the Switch regular uh, Joy-Cons, because I have my Pro Controller here, and these jumps need to be super precise. Yeah. Oh, I can use as many as I want, so. Sword of Legend. Yeah, these jumps are intense. Whoa! Oh my gosh, he's so fast. <laughs> yeah, sure. Great. Love this. <laughs> All right, cool. Yep. That guy is uh Where's that guy in uh Sega All-Star Racing Transform? Oh? video game like this is not like for some reason if this was a oh my god look at this guy oh he's telling me something no i want to i want to get more advice from this cat okay no they didn't say anything okay i can't go back now Am I supposed- is this like the part of the challenge mode that I can just go through all these walls? What's going on? So I guess we'll be able to beat this boss if I have an yeah, infinite revival medicines. It's just like a time attack. This is a sphinx, huh? It looks like a... I tell you what, what a great... <laughs> this is a great pick for this fucking street old video game stream we got here, because I had not expect any of this. I am pleasantly surprised. minutes and 58 seconds do i get to see where i rank submitting things challenge here we go let's see what we got folks great finally my name can be etched in the history books we got time attack take on monster castle with the strongest equipment defeat the dragon as quickly as you can okay whoa magic all right let's kill this dragon Let's try this dragon now. Oh, it's linear here. We got we got a linear joint going on. Oh man. Once we're done here, I need to look up when did this fucking game come out? This is tight. This is a good video game. Whoa! At least in terms of like RPG, like, adventure game on an arcade, like, that is really impressive. I, I never heard of it. I never knew much about this game. It's pretty cool. Like, there are worse home console games on the RP on the NES. Like, you want to talk about Hydlide? Oh, it's, it's kind of framey, though. It's kind of framey. It's okay, though. We're, we're doing good. We got this. I feel became a fighter. Great. I think that was the uh, slogan for uh, Dead or Alive 6, actually. I feel became a fighter. I became a fighter. I can't come back. Oh, 
Yo, this game is cool. That's my official opinion about this. Oh, it's Raimi, though. Oh, no, I can't handle the Sega, Mich Sega Mark, whatever the hell. I don't know. I forget what it said it was. I'm sorry. We're going to skip that. We're going down. Oh, no. Oh, up, 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 up. Oh, no. Oh, up, up, up. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, Jesus. Like, you think of, like, sh you think of, like, more other NES games, like Solomon's Key. Or, I don't even know what other uh, fucking old RP NES games, but this is way better than that shit. This is fucking, this is good. That's my final opinion. This is pretty cool. Be a hell of a quarter sucker, I will tell you that. But this is the kind of cool game, it's a quarter sucker. But man, like, <laughs> I'd imagine if you had this game, like, let's say at a pizzeria or a laundromat, like, this would be the annoying game, like, the fucking kids wouldn't share the machine while they so, if you're a parent, you're waiting for your pizza at the Pizza Hut, I wouldn't fucking leave, like, this is some, this is, like, this got some depth to it, this is cool. I think the last, ooh, the most vivid... I feel became a fighter. I feel became a fighter. I keep saying, oh, there's not even an A there. I feel became a fighter. Where the gauntlet. Perfect. This game is great. Um, the, the most memorable arcade machine I played at a pizzeria was actually, uh, it was a, I don't think it was, it was like a arcade machine that had a bunch of, you know, it was like, not, it was like late, it was like early 2000s, but it was already like a MAME cabinet. And it had that Mega Man The Power Battles, which was that Mega Man game that had, was like a boss rush thing. Uh, that was cool, because I only played that like, you know, like emulated. That was cool. Now every like fucking pizzeria has like that Galaga Pac-Man. Where the fuck is this dragon? That Pac-Man Galaga combo. All right, what the hell? Look at this. He's got like a, he's got like a princess. He's got like a Peach Mario 2 glide. Where is this dragon? Oh my God, is this like a maze? I think I just realized that this is a maze, I think. Okay, so let's go down. Oh, 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 they, oh, they can bring me back up. All right, you guys are dead. Ah, fuck. Okay. What is the pu what is what is the solution to reach the dragon here? Man, you want to talk about shitty NES games? Um, Dragons, Dragons Lair, the NES game. Fuck that video game. All right. All right. Let's go this way. We got, uh, Scott in the chat. Hi, Scott. How's it going? And we got Logan as well. Yo, you're checking out this game, so, man, this, right now we're in a rut, and I'm trying to find this dragon. Uh, I don't know where this dragon is. Somebody! Where is this dragon? Okay, so we went straight, and get out of my way. Get out of my way. So, last time I felt it, oh my god. Get out of here. Last time I fell down, when I rent... Okay. So I'm gonna fall down. When I went to the left, then it... it we went through one of these again. So we're gonna go to the left. This time I'm gonna go to the right. I think that I've been going left every time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I think I have gone this way and have killed these guys. Oh, let's see. God damn it! All right, let's try it again. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try this again. Oh my god, Framey. Okay, we're gonna go down. We're gonna fuck these Pikachu. They look like uh, Neopets. 
She looked like that Neopet. That's what it looks like. <laughs> it looks like that one Neopet. You know what I'm talking about. It looks like that base yellow cute looking like... The, it looks like the guy who makes you count the potatoes. But if he was a bat. Alright. So we went to the right last time. We're going to go to the left. I'm pretty sure I went to the left last time and this didn't do anything. But let's see how this goes. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I want to see this dragon. Oh, there, okay. Let's not fall. I think I've done that before. We're going to jump over. We're going to go here. Okay, this is new. We're, we're, this is new. This is like... Okay, we're good. This is new. Oh, my God. Okay. Man, this, this is... Uh, you're like going like the inverse way. What the hell? Yeah, this is like the inverse. What the hell? Folks, I don't know if I'll be able to solve this puzzle. So I came from here. I can die. Ah! Damn it, folks! I'm gonna give up on trying to find this dragon. I'm sorry about that. We're not gonna. We're not gonna do that. Let's see what else this uh this this little emulated version of Monster Boy, Wonder Boy Monsterland has for us. We got a fireball challenge. Ranking. Okay, let me. Can I see my ranking on that one thing? A lot of Japanese folks. You know, this was out in Japan for a while before it came here, so that makes sense. Sphinx challenge. Where am I? Where am I? 581. Suck it, 4846 Love. Suck it, Nick. Suck it, Minami Aki. Suck it, Dahlia. Shock! Fuck you, Shaq! Fuck you. That's what I gotta say. Alright, let's try this uh, fireball challenge. I think we're gonna be done there. Uh. Let's go, fireball challenge. Welcome to Monsterland. George is not a drinker, but if I understand it, a fireball challenge may be something very different if alcohol is involved. This is just the first level. This is just the first level again. Hey, brave man. Listen carefully. He's a walrus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where's the fireball? I got it. I got it. All right, so I didn't read the actual challenge. Can I, what's the challenge? Swap your, okay, unleash one hit. Oh, one hit or time over. Okay, so do I have to make it to like the? How do I, how do I shoot the fireball? How do I shoot the fireball? How do I shoot the fire? There we go. It's weird. I can I only shoot it when enemies nearby? Yeah, I can only shoot it when. That's weird. Maybe it's a ram thing. Maybe it's like we can't have the player like fucking throw fireballs all the time. That's gonna blow up the machine. So they have to. Long we've been playing here for okay we're about to end this stream here i gotta make dinner um, pleasantly surprised with this game i gotta say i didn't know about anything much about it and this is pretty damn good this is pretty damn good i gotta check out the year for this this is pretty cool perfect this is where i got caught up last time so i know i'm gonna die <laughs> I wonder if this had a port to the master system. This is... I wonder what the master system version actually looks like. That's it. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Wait, I got hit! I thought I wasn't supposed to get hit. Oh, that's about it. I'm dead now. Yeah, the, the best drink on Earth if you're 17 and love Pitbull. Hell yeah! Shout out to Pitbull. Mr. Worldwide. I've heard a lot about these stream deck uh, little contraptions uh, that allow you to have sound effects. Uh, I would definitely have a Dale on it if I had one of those things. But you know what? I don't know anything about that. This is my first stream. This is a pretty cool thing, this playing video games on the internet thing. I don't know why no one's doing it. Oh, well. Maybe I can... Uh, yeah, it seems like a pretty profitable thing, maybe. I don't know. So yeah, that's uh, those are some old games there. Um, thank you so much for joining me. 
uh, I will maybe play some more old games at another time. Maybe some more Sega Ages games, but I doubt that. Uh, thank you for Sega for providing these high quality old video game products. And shout out to M2 for being out here making them. Uh, so yeah, until next time, irrationalpassions.com. Uh, Twitch TV slash Rational Passions right here. One Mike Burgess, his master, he's, you know, he's trying to just own Breath of the Wild. Uh, saw that first episode. You can see that archive on Twitch. It's really good stuff. And he will be streaming. I think he said Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, but just tomorrow's 4th of July. So if you're on here, Mike, I'm sorry if I had forgotten that. Yeah. Uh, until next time here on Twitch.tv Rational Passions. Goodbye.